where a condom is a tough, stretchy latex sleeve that blokes put over their willies during sex. And mind you, they are really stretchy. Now the idea is, is that if this condom's on the bloke's willy during sex, now I mean all of the act of sex, then it reduces the chance of pregnancy just because it's a barrier to a man's sperm going into the woman. Secondly, it reduces the chances of bugs that might be in the bloke or in the woman uh, moving across into each other. So it reduces the chance of sexually transmitted disease. Now condoms are apparently four or five hundred years old. Prior to that, men just left it to women to sort out their own contraception, didn't give a damn. But after about four or five hundred years ago, they started to cotton on that syphilis and some of the sexually transmitted diseases uh, needed to be prevented with a barrier. So that's why they started making condoms. Now the early ones were things like made of sheep's intestine, not stretchy rubber. So uh, it was all a bit of a messy business, but now, because of technology, the condoms are different sizes for small willies, medium-sized willies, and big willies. And also you get different colours. You can even get flavoured ones, apparently. Right, this is getting techy. So modern technology has made the condom a really good device in terms of strength, but also it's quite thin, so people don't lose that, you know, that feel that they want during sex, if you know, the sensuousness or whatever it is. Help me, Nav, help me. <laughs> so look, what I did was, because this is a tricky sort of subject, is I asked a number of the other docs uh, some of the women doctors as well, about the use of condoms and what doctors advise people in terms of how to use and when to use them. Now the general consensus amongst these doctors is the biggest problem of condoms with regard to contraception and reducing sexually transmitted diseases is actually not taking them out of the packet and not using them. So for goodness sake, take them out of the packet and use them. A couple of other problems include people not putting them on throughout the whole of sex. They have a bit of sexual intercourse, get worked up, and then decide to put it on um, later on when they're actually gonna, you know, take it the full way or ejaculate, if you know what I mean. The problem is, is that in, if you have sex without them, in the secretions that come out of the willy, there can actually be sperm in those. So what I'm saying is you've got to have the condom in for the whole time, all right? Not in and out sort of stuff without, and then put the condom on later. Now, some people uh, require lubrication when they use condoms. The important thing is, and this is a real trap here, use water-based lubricants like KY Jelly. Don't use oils uh, like moisturizers or car, you know, some of the, the oils that you would use for makeup and stuff because those oils tend to break the condom down and there's more chance of it splitting during sex. Nav, can you show me the banana, please? <laughs> when you got the condom here, you can't put it on like this. You've got to take it straight out of the packet and then apply it, okay, like this. So you take it out of the packet, there, and then you get the windy bit like this, and then you spread it over the erect banana or penis. You probably practice with a banana first, and take it right down to the base of the penis, all right? And there should be a little gap up here where there's space for the ejaculate or seminal fluid to go, okay? So that's how you put a condom on. You just don't get the uh, loose arrangement like this. Oh, I'll take the bloody thing off, like this. And then just expect to put it over like that. It's got to be put on and folded down. You got it? Cripes, the things I do for you healthy bastards. Anyway, that's condoms, fellas.